welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jerry. This is my channel, Weekends with G, where I talk about everyday living, living solo, grown up life. I've had a YouTube channel for a long time, um, but have changed my niche over the years. And currently, I am settled more on exploring my hobbies, which include sewing crafting, sometimes cooking, a lot of eating, and occasionally makeup. I used to do a whole lot of makeup. I noticed there are quite a few new subscribers, so I thought it makes sense to reintroduce myself and uh, welcome you to my little part of the interwebs. Now, I've been really focused over the last year or two on just doing better. And this covers a whole realm of things, but today in particular, I want to talk to you about easy ways to switch to some eco-friendly products that is painless. Painless, easy, because I think, at least for myself, I really avoided a lot of the eco stuff when it first like came out at everywhere. Um, because number one, it was expensive. A lot of times it was fussy and it just didn't quite, I didn't know how to work it into my everyday life. My criteria for these products, for products to stick in my life, is that number one, it has to be easy. It has to be an easy swap, painless, easy to use, not fussier to use. Number two, it's gotta be at a similar price point or less expensive over the long run because I think a lot of eco products or greener products really have that invisible wall of expensiveness around it. And if you're doing it day to day, it's just not realistic. So that's number two. Three, um, it's gonna do the job well. I am not sacrificing efficiency for a greener product per se. There are very few things that I would do that for, but it's gotta work just as well if not more efficient at the same job. Overall, these products meet all three criterias and I'm happy to share them with you. Now for the longest time, I owned a variety of cleaners. The idea of having things sparkly clean, I think appeals to a lot of people. And I used to have different cleaners for different purposes, for different parts of the house. And if I was being really good, I'll spend a bit more money on the eco-friendly, biodegradable, more natural cleaners. But at the end of the day, I had really simplified my life down to one main cleaner and then a sprinkle of other things exclusively for the bathroom. And I'm talking about the Dr. Bonner's Pure Castile Soap. I have the liquid version. There is also a bar soap, which I've never used. It comes in a couple of scents. There's a lot of information on this bottle, which I'm sure you can read on their website. This is a 473 milliliter container. And I've had this for, I want to say possibly a year, give or take, maybe a little bit less than a year. And I still have some left. It does not seem like a lot of soap or cleaner, but the thing is you can dilute this and I dilute mine into a plastic spray bottle. Get this at the dollar store. I think this particular one is from the Dollar Tree. I think it's great. It's got markings for diluting products, which is, which is exactly how you want to use this pure Castile soap. I spray onto surfaces, I give them a wipe, and we're good to go. Um, I use this a lot for the kitchen. That's where a lot of stuff happens. I find it just as effective as any other cleaners for taking away general grease, um, doing a overall clean, like multi-purpose everyday cleaner. I think this is fantastic. I know there are a lot of different other combinations that you could use or different brands, but Dr. Bono's works pretty well for me. And um, if you have other recommendations though for different scents that you like from this, leave it for me down below. A bottle of this rents you about 12 bucks, give or take, on sale. And like I said, I've had this for almost a year and I'm using it all the time in the kitchen and for other things. I like the idea that this is more natural to begin with. And um, if I happen to be, you know, doing stuff and kitchen is where food gets ingested, this makes me feel better and I think it's better for the earth too. Now let's talk about straws. Straws seem to either excite you 
or frustrate you. I was never the type of person who was like, ooh, I want a straw with everything. I use straws when they make me feel really fancy, like you go to a restaurant or a nice place and they give you a drink with a straw and you feel really good about it. Day to day, I don't need to have a straw. I think if you want to go like as you know eco as possible, just skip the straw. You know, if you don't have a particular need for it, that's fine. But if you really like straws or you want to feel a little fancier with your everyday drinks, I had avoided the metal straws, the silicone straws, because like they were hard to clean. I know you get that little pipe thing and you stick it in and you try to wash it. That still didn't feel clean to me and I don't want to be using something that is hard to clean. Again, one of my rules is going to be easy to use, right? I recently discovered straws that split open in the middle. Isn't this amazing? These are silicone straws. The first ones I purchased are the ones I'm holding right here. They are from a brand called Hip. And what you do is that they've got a little groove, right? You're going to pinch it. You're going to slide your fingers along it and pinch, 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 pinch. And I've had these for at least six months, if not close to a year. No issues with leaking as you're drinking this. As long as it's sealed properly, creates good suction for most of your drinks. If you have a super thick smoothie, this might not be wide enough in terms of the hole, but otherwise works so, so well. Um, it's easy on your teeth. It doesn't... It retains smells a little bit. If you find that really bothersome with silicone products, you can soak them in a bit of soap or a bit of whatever to deodorize them, but I don't mind them. I tend to have certain colors for juices and smoothies, or, which are more fruity, and different colors for things like coffees and whatnot. Those are more expensive. However, I've been noticing more brands are doing these split in the middle straws. And of course, the purpose of splitting it is that you can wash it any way you want, right? Um, the Real Canadian Superstore, President's Choice, have come up with these very similar, actually I think they're exactly the same, TBH. Easy, easily opens for cleaning is what it says in the back. Fully reseal. See up, seal it, open it, seal it back again, no problem. A pack of four of these, okay, ran on sale less than five bucks, you guys. So I think this is the easy, no-brainer, better alternative if you like straws, but you like an easier cleaning process. My next tip and swap is actually super easy because you don't have to do anything. My tip is about doing less laundry. It surprises me when I watch or read certain things out on the internet about how often people actually do laundry. I understand if you've got, you know, kids or you play sports, you're like things actually get dirty, dirty, dirty do your laundry, right? And there's lots of eco products, friendlier products, do your laundry. But I'm talking about just not washing your clothes as often. And it does not, is not as weird and gross as you might think it sounds. Because if you get into the habit of having outside clothes and then more inside clothes, at home with your inside clothes, you can wear them multiple times. Even my outside clothes, if they don't have stains or smudges or don't look dirty and don't smell, I would wear them for a couple of times before I need to wash them. This is good for a couple of reasons. You don't have to, you know, your electricity bills, all that stuff. You don't have to just use resources as frequently, but also it prolongs the life of your clothes. If you were to wash your clothes after every single wear, they will degrade so much faster because fibers they don't last forever, right? You get holes in things more often, your really fancy stuff gets worn down. Most of the time, we probably wash our clothes way more often and are told to wash them way more often than we actually need to. So for me, I have outside and work clothes. They're not particularly special, they're just a certain set of clothes that if I'm wearing them from outside, when I go home, I change it to something else. I put them in a particular spot or basket or a section of my closet. I have inside clothes, I have pajamas, and that works really well for me, and I don't have to do laundry as often. All right, books. Let's talk books. Loads of you out there are probably book lovers. I don't read quite as much, but I've been trying to read a lot more. 
and books can get expensive. If you really like the tactile quality of holding a physical book, I get it. I'm a crafter. I'm all about the hand feels. Um, sure, get some books, right? Make it a little friendlier by, after you're reading it, giving it off to a friend. Maybe if you have social media, keep a running list of, you know, books to give away. And if your friends want to read something, they can say, hey, I'm interested in this. Can I, you know, get this off of you? Right? Or if you work in some kind of a, a workspace that has, you know, a few more people, um, you might want to do a book swap bin. Something easy like that. You might live in a community. We have these here. I think they're called free libraries where they've built almost like little birdhouses, but they're bigger than birdhouses. And people can, in the community, can put books in, take books, you know, take a book, leave a book, something like that. I think those are great. But even better for me personally is I have gotten myself an e-reader. Now, the library is a wonderful place. It is free. You can sign up for a card and that gives you access to not only physical books, but also nowadays a lot of audiobooks and um, ebooks. Sometimes for the popular ones, you will have to wait um, for them to you know, be available because lots of people want to read them. Just put yourself on the wait list, right? But you can read for free on your computer or on your device. I have an iPad for a long time. I did my ebooks on my iPad and then six months or so ago I got an e-reader which has been really great. This was more for like if I want to read on the balcony or in the sun or just a little easier on my eyes and easier to hold because the iPad is quite big and a little bit cumbersome if you're reading. Um, although the colors are beautiful, this only goes black and white. Nonetheless, an e-reader wonderful make sure it is compatible with your local library wherever that you live i chose the kobo because with canadian libraries this works way better than um, the other options but those might be more for you and i just download books you guys directly onto my e-reader and we're good to go so love this go to the library use your free resources more eco-friendly all right, last tip for you, super easy swap. Does take a little bit of effort on your part, but I've been so pleased with this. And this is one I was a little bit hesitant about in the beginning because I think everybody has different opinions about regs, okay? Um, growing up in an Asian household, regs were used all the time. However, those regs were like not my favorite because they're usually kind of wet and they get smelly easily and, and you know like if you're the anti-reg camp you have your reasons and I completely get it but when I moved out on my own I decided to buy I think I just bought a meter maybe I don't think more than that a meter of microfiber fabric and that's also partly the reason I bought fabric um, was because most of the microfiber cloth you can get are terrible quality. They are so like thin and they're not plush and they just, they're just bad. And <laughs> they get holes in them really quickly. Not my job. So I decided I can do better. Went to the fabric store, found myself some awesome microfiber cloths. All I did is cut them and then folded down the sides and sewed the edges down. This I initially did to differentiate the kitchen cloths from the everyday household cloths, from the bathroom cloths. If you want to differentiate, you can get different colors or you can put little tags on them, right? These black ones are for my kitchen and these have been wonderful. I use them often with the spray when I'm cleaning up easy, quick. Um, I use them to dust, I use them to do loads and loads of things and about once a week or so I throw these and my other kitchen um, hand towels and stuff into the wash and I hang them to dry, they dry very quickly. The nice thing about microfiber though is if you are just going to do, you know, do some clean, do a hand rinse, wring it out and wring it out super dry, you hang it in a single layer, in a couple hours it is dry and you can use it again. This is not the kind of mop that gets really smelly and I haven't had any issues with these ones so I'm super pleased. I've had mine for over 
over a year now, possibly edging onto two years. Some of them are in better shape than others, but overall wonderful. And I still have extra fabric out of that meter to make some new regs, which I'm going to do sometime this week, I think. And there you have it, my five easy swaps for doing better at being eco-friendly. I think they're painless, like I said. They're not necessarily more expensive in the long run. In, in fact, loads of them are actually cheaper. In the long run, they are easy. They do the job just as effectively, if not better. And I love them. I've been using them in my life for a long, long time now. I'd love to hear your eco-friendly tips. Leave them for me down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with some friends, drop a comment down below. And I would love to know if any of these are new and a surprise for you. If you're looking forward to more videos or similar types of videos, or you want to see a follow-up once I have more products and um, solutions to share with you, let me know down below as well. Until next time, take wonderful care of yourselves. I'll see you over on social media if I'm not here. And See you soon. Bye, everybody.